Officer, okay. I'm not doing anything wrong, officer. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm definitely. I'm now red, officer. <laughs> Man, I sure wish I could have read what he said so I could make a joke out of it, Duke. <laughs> oh, my name, my name, my name. I'm not reading that. Man, what I want to do for a chunk of fudge right now. I'm Duke. And today we're back with another episode of Fossil Fighters. Last time we saved Rosie. And now we're going to go talk to her and her dad. There's guards everywhere now because she was kidnapped. Her grandpa. Duke is going to go. I walk. hate that design. I hate that design. What? Elaborate. Of uh, you. Okay. Go up. Go up. I hate it. When you're just trying to move forward and then this keeps happening. You know what you know what you should do? Yeah. Stop Not holding, holding up. Stick. <laughs> well, imagine being tired at like uh, uh, 10 o'clock at night uh, playing your DS. And... Fuck. That's Fuck. When, that's when you know. Fuck. That, that's when you know to stop playing. All right. Richmond. Excuse me, Richmond. Walking. I can't ever thank you enough. You saved my granddaughter and you have my sincerest thanks. That's two for one. So... Grandpa, why do you sound like you haven't been taking your meds since I was gone? Why do you think the BB bandits were after those idols? Because you have to stop Dr. Wowie. Wowie. <laughs> the investigators believe that they were hired for the job. They Apparently, a man and a woman offered, the, offered them 10 billion G for four idols. I'll be right back, guys. I, I'm going to rob Nick Knack. <laughs> I'm going to take the other one. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Why does this one look like me? I associate with this one a lot. Wait, someone is willing to pay money for these things? A lot of money? But why? I don't fucking know. I wonder if there might be more of these idols than we thought. Some kind of hidden secret. secret. <laughs> I'll have Dr. Diggins take a closer look at them. Oh, hell yeah. We haven't talked to Dr. Diggins in a while. I'll take these. <laughs> Rosie, I don't mind you entering fossil battles, but I don't do anything else to get your blood. But don't do anything else to get yourself into trouble. Stop existing. Yes, sir, Grandpa. <laughs> Walking? Keep your eye on Rosie for me, would you? I don't have any kids to take care of myself. <laughs> Her dad died when he, when she was young. She <laughs> Walking, you should probably be gone. The level up battles will start soon, and we need to get ready. Oh, that's great. I actually just leveled up my guys specifically for the level up battle. What? <laughs> yeah, no, I could have leveled them up before even coming to save you, but I didn't want to. Good luck. Man, he's a real dick, isn't he? Her parents died when she was really young. She has no concept of what a mother is. <laughs> ah, good, good, good. <laughs> so she doesn't deserve a mother. We got another level up battle. Ooh! Your attention, please. Level up battles will begin shortly. All participating fighters make their way to the fossil stadium for registration. Yeah! Alright, so while we're doing this level up battle, if there's not anything to... Wait. Usually the level up battles have someone... We're breaking the law! Had someone Bre kind of unique to give us the test. Does that mean that the BB boss is gonna come in? No, and luckily us? no. <laughs> But, um, while we're doing this now, Jinsu, I want to ask you, what do you find, what is more important to you in a video game? Story or gameplay? Gameplay. Gameplay. What, and what about gameplay specifically? Um, it just has to be good and, like, be coherent, you know? Like, because there's, there's, like, there's games that I think have really good mechanics that don't really flush them out. Mm. Or that they they really wanted to flesh out this other idea that they had and didn't really care about this other good thing that they had, and it's uh, it's just not my cup of tea sometimes. Sometimes it but, doesn't matter what you're consuming as long as you're having a good time playing it. Yeah, yeah. Like the the Spider-Man games, you can have a good a good decent Spider-Man game with a pretty decent story. You know, it just follows straight the comics, but playing it will be like ass. If the swinging don't feel good, then I ain't swinging. If the swinging don't feel good, the wall crawling. If I the, can't be a swinger, I don't feel good. <laughs> the the bad guy fighting, the web slinging. If that shit doesn't feel good, if that shit doesn't feel fluid and like, is it like if, if the game doesn't do a good job teaching me how to do it good, then then it's really annoying and it's like I'd rather not play this. Yeah. Because it's a video game, you know. You you have active, you have active response or fuck what am i trying to say you you can you can respond to what's happening and you can do something about it you have a influence on on the world around you and the whole point of the video games 
is that you have influence over what's happening. Yeah. And so what you do is can be important sometimes, depending on the game. Yeah. But um Yeah, like 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 comparing Legend of Zelda games to say from soft games. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. They're both like my type of game that I really like, where it's like this huge adventure and I got I'm in this kind of like medieval Hi. setting. If it's somebody important, then I will uh, stop it. If it's not, then I will skip it because they don't matter. Is it important? No. I right, fuck it. It's the preliminary match of the fight, so it's like... But no, it's... I'm totally important! It's but it's like, Jane. No. <laughs> <laughs> but she's Jane. But she's Jane. You didn't listen to... You never listened to Super Charm and the song Goodbye Stranger? Goodbye Stranger! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Goodbye my dinosaurs. Jane. Oh, she's got a show, Sean. Goodbye, Raptor. Goodbye, T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Spinosaurus. Goodbye, Pterodactyl. Oh, she said the P. Oh, this song's bad now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna be able to. Re- I'm not gonna be able to re-listen to it. She's, she said the P. Pterodactyl. The P. And the Pterodactyl. She had the P. But did she say the P? Yeah. Oh, she said the petite. She didn't say that I was pretty, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I agree a lot with the gameplay and stuff like that. And, nice. and Legend of Zelda and From Software games specifically, the fact that they're grand scaling different areas, different biomes and all that kind of stuff, and you're fighting skeletons, though one is largely different than the other. <laughs> What? Skeleton. Back on your phone. The skeletons in Legend of Zelda and From Software. What about? Them? And how different they are. <laughs> there aren't really skeletons in, in Legend of Zelda. There's a few. There's like um. In Breath the, of the Wild, there's the the Stalfos. Yeah. The <laughs> Mrs. Riggle. She got a really big fucking Me? head. Hey, hey, you shitty! Looks like you're turning into quite the fool over the <laughs> With the wise old turtle will always outsmart the young fox. Time to battle, Sunny! Oh god, she's going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> I love old people characters that are actually like really strong. Well, yeah, they better be. <laughs> but, um, I mean, the, the Legend of Zelda, like, enemy fights aren't as interesting as, as, the, as the FromSoft fights. And, like, so, so when when I watched the the Eagle Raptor video where he's com- where he's complaining about three D the transition from two D Zelda to three D Zelda, yeah, um, and he's talking about how combat is one of the things that they kind of like got right but also fucked up. Um, locking on, great, perfect, like that's such a smart like thing to put in the game. Um, context sensitive or contact sensitive interactions. Yeah. That was something that was brought up in another review from another about 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 the um, transition from 2D to 3D. But there is so much goddamn waiting. <laughs> there's just there's just lots of moments where the game just kind of pauses. Like and it's not just in terms of gameplay either, but like in in Ocarina of Time, uh the story just kind of pauses until you finish until you finish beating all the all the uh, dungeons, mm. or or not the dungeon. When you get when you get all your MacGuffins, when you get oh, your stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you get your stuff, uh, while you're getting the stuff, the story kind of pauses. There's nothing really interesting going on. Gandorf is just playing piano menacingly in his castle. Yeah, while while Link is running around Hyrule, getting fighting this boss, fighting that boss, doing playing drums with the fucking Shadow Temple boss. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm I'm referencing an older Zelda game, so it's kind of not fair to compare like the the 1997 game to the 2011 <laughs> to the 2011 game, but it's still the same like, amount of learning like, that evolved from each one. Yeah, the pacing the pacing of of the uh, of the of the Zelda game, I kind of I really didn't like, and uh, they really fixed. The problems that I had with Zelda were fixed in Breath of the Wild. That's how good. But then, but then everyone started calling it Dark Souls. <laughs> everyone started calling it the, the Dark Souls of Zelda. It's like, what? this was already Dark Souls. This is Dark Souls before Dark Souls happened. I, I would say Twilight Princess was more of the Dark Souls of Legend of Zelda than... In, in terms of semantics and, like, the visuals, I guess. Yeah. It's, it, it, looks, it does look similar. It does feel like it. Dr. Diggins! Dr. Diggins! <laughs> 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 Look at his 
Go ahead, his face. Excellent, Rogan. You made it to the final battle. <laughs> Your success against the BB Bandits clearly wasn't a fluke. But I now hit. I get to test you, Walken. I'm the one who will determine if you make level six or not. Get ready, Walken, and let's see if you can beat me within the turn limit. But maybe I'll let you win if you give me some more dino. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, I got to read it. Uh, Was he always little... dark skin? Yes. Yeah. Uh, as a little uh, like in between thing of like uh, the front desk person mentioned that we have to beat him in ten turns. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Luckily, the last person I beat, I beat in like five. That, but, uh, okay, so, Jimsu, what's what you were saying with comparing Breath of the Wild to... That people compared Breath of the Wild as Dark Souls, calling it Dark Souls? I I don't understand that. Because, like, even though, like, the world is destroyed and in ruins, yes. It was just because it got harder. Yeah. It, it was just harder. The game was... The game was harder, and the way you... Um, the ga- the way you went about progressing it and the open-worldness of it, I think... And, like, maybe, maybe not the open-worldness of it, because Dark Souls is a very linear game. And Elden Ring didn't come out yet. Yeah. Um, El Nino didn't come out for another, like, five years. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, five years. So. There was definitely elements that inspired people to say it, but it was, but to me, myself, playing. I? Yeah, playing those games, I just, I was able to separate them. Yeah. In my mind. I think it's mainly because I'm going, like, who I'm playing as. Is very different in both games. Yeah. You're either going around as yeah, or oh my god, everything sucks. Everyone kills me all the time. I, I I get beaten into the ground. I'm literal paste. Or you know, just the silent protagonist. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what I was trying to say. Oh man. But Which, just like, the evolution of games. like no no no. You were you're asking me like if I preferred gameplay over story. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And um. It's. I feel like they both have to be intertwined. The, the the pacing of both really affects the other, and it's like you can have a really fun game with no fucking story, but that's just okay. then just play a fucking fighting game. If you just want to, <laughs> if you just want to play a game with no with dog shit ass story, but it's really fun to play and you just like playing it, then like start getting into fighting games or something. And like, well, if if story is something you really don't care about, and if fighting games is really something you're genuinely interested in delving a lot of time into, oh, we might lose this one. I think you are gonna lose this. Yep. <laughs> oh well, we'll be back. <laughs> Looks like you can't do the thing. Can't dig the diggins. Well, it's no me. story. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think a really good example of like kind of mid story with equally mid gameplay would have to be uh, some of the Pokemon games. Yeah. Where uh, it's it's a really good formula and it's really fun to play those games, but they never really go any deeper. Than what it is, and it's a it's a yearly release every time too. So they kind of can't. <laughs> if they change too much over that short of a time, people get too much whiplash and then say that the game is terrible. Or they'll just the the reception will be weird. I don't know. It's it's so weird because a game a game's life can a game's life obviously depends on the people playing it. But like some games will just last for fucking ever. Yeah. Some and- games people will just never drop. Ever. No yeah. one is ever going to stop playing Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah. No one... The people who play Street Fighter 3 Third Strike are never going to stop playing Street Fighter 3 Third Strike unless yeah. their fucking hands get amputated. Yeah. But, like... Like... And, like, what's, what's, what's weird is that, like... Uh, not not counting Melee, but Street Fighter Third Strike, that game sold really poorly. And, it like, in terms of marketing and, like... And, like, how popular it was compared to Street Fighter 2, it wasn't as good. It was seen as a failure. Nah, but, but, but the people that play it now are just, like, But people still, fucking, people still fucking love Third Strike. And there's a lot of people who play Third Strike. And there's a lot of new people playing Third Strike now, too. Yeah. I think that's another thing, too. If a story's really good, people will talk about it. But if the gameplay's really good, people will actually play it. Yeah. That's the main thing like you okay. can talk about a story and all that kind of stuff Yo, oh you did it oh yeah. shit oh. congratulations so, walking uh you guys obviously weren't watching but uh, <laughs> they, uh, uh Shut the, up. the change that i made is basically uh in the previous fight i got killed off because of the fact that he had a uh, dinosaur whose main ability was that it could confuse you and so it kept confusing me but unlike the previous fight where i was all perfectly like able to kill so it made no difference. Yeah. This one confused me and uh, basically made it so that it would waste turns. Oh. And eventually and it, it got it. to the point where, no, not actually that part. It was the fact that I wasted turns and they were equally strong to me. Damn. So they just killed me. 
Okay. It was the perfect counter to my team as well. Ah, so they... So I just instead changed my, changed my strategy to kill that dinosaur first, even if it cost uh, the life of, like, uh, one of my guys, and then as soon as it was dead, go all out. All right. Yep. Okay, you're good. You can put down your phone. Beating me is no mean feat, if I may say so. Why I'm he got a, Why has he got a dumpy? <laughs> He's been sitting down too much. <laughs> I'm really impressed at how much progress you've made. You've obviously been busted. <laughs> it shows! Again. Oh, you're just skipping! <laughs> Great work, Walker. <laughs> I'm incredibly impressed. Extremely impressed. I, I I like the idea too much. It just... You obviously be busted. Pause. It shows. But you missed out the fact that he said hump, and that, and I just made the joke about him having... A, yeah, he's got some dump. <laughs> he got that dump in his hump. He has, your he has a back surgery. I hear about certify you walking as a level six fighter. Fighter. Just keep on digging, you know what I mean? Dig, just dig, and dig some more. Just keep Go get him walking. Yeah. Level six in 2024. Guys, this game, this game came out like 2008. It took me 16 years, guys. 16 years. For 16 years, I didn't give a shit about the Fossil Fighter series. He is still talking. You're going to have to put down your phone. Just one more step before you make Master Fighter walk in. Good luck. So there's the level we're going for. Master Fighter. Master, master Bader. <laughs> You've clearly been busted. But, but before you can be a Master Bader. <laughs> <laughs> Walking. I keep failing these tests. I'm not busted enough. Yeah. Somehow, I'm not surprised. You're a natural at this. And you just keep being better and better. I'm getting ready for my final battle. But the first two were already hard enough. It's because you suck. Level 6 has never seemed so far away. It's because you suck. But I still can't get over Captain Bullworth being the BB box. It's because you suck. <laughs> just keep and going. Were you saying something? I so <laughs> want to know the story about them. Behind them. <laughs> Why are you looking at the I, screen? You. <laughs> I want to give you some chalky milk. Oh, she's walking at you. <laughs> <laughs> 3D. This game inspired the 3D 3DS. Yeah. Um, what was I saying, walking? Would you meet me at the park tonight? I want to talk about something. Uh huh. So I'll see you later then. Okay, bye. I just don't come. Okay, and, bye, Christian. <laughs> and don't worry if. The lights get cut, and you're stuck in darkness. Don't do anything. When the lights... Wait, what was the name of the chapter? Oh, Go you down. skipped it! Awaken the fossils, I The think. skeleton watching his entire universe collapse around him after he killed some guy in a blue shirt. It oh. was hardcore. <laughs> it was hardcore. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Walken. Um, well, the, the reason I, I asked you to meet me, you're walking, is because I wanted to properly thank you. Wow. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Jinzu, you're gonna want to watch this one. Put on your phone, bitch. He's loving. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you for coming to shame me for the BB bandage today. Took you that much time to muster? I was trying to sound tough, like I wasn't scared, but I was. I was more scared than I'd ever be. When you showed up, I was so relieved to see you walking. I just can't even say. But really, thank you. Thank you so much. Now that we've been standing here for three days, it's funny when I think about it, Walken. <laughs> Her voice deepens. Walken, you've helped us. You've helped me so many times now. Uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you helped me get my dino medals This is one of the episodes you missed. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there was a robber. Yeah. Little he man. wasn't a bandit. You remember oh, cool. this one, though. I got struck by lightning. You work hard to tell me. Oh, oh sorry. Well, she yeah, struck my lightning. And just when I thought I was getting hit by those danger shots, you saved me. <laughs> that reminds me of that. Have you guys seen that one video that's been around recently where it's a cat with a giant human grin and they put, like, hands next to it and it's going... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You I sent it to you. <laughs> Fucking no. I know that now. I know you haven't been seeing the things I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jinsu, look at this. With all the trouble I've caused you, you must really hate me by now, huh? Huh? Can't stand this bitch. Do you hate? <laughs> 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 no! 
<laughs> I said yes. <laughs> I said I said yes, and it actually doesn't go. Are you sure? No, it says yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I guess I don't blame you. All I've done is cause you trouble walking. Duke, why? <laughs> I don't want to cry in this voice, it hurts. But you know what? I'm going to make it up to you. If you ever need help walking, I'll be there for you. If you're in trouble, no matter what it is or what the circumstances are, I'll be at your side walking. Are we ever even, do we even fight Rosie? So, you so probably do at some point. Just don't I think she's like final boss. <laughs> Just don't hate me any more than you already do, because I'm going to make it right. Rosie, <laughs> you gotta stand up for yourself. Nah, I hate you more now. <laughs> I better be going now. Grandpa will yell at me if I'm out too late. You were literally just kidnapped. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go jump in the ocean and not come back. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it right now. <laughs> I, I still can't believe you can actually say yes to that, by the way. I, I can't believe you chose it. Of course I was choose it. I hate women. You can now visit <laughs> What? <laughs> That's a dig site. Oh my god. You actually chose the option that you hate her. Uh, oh, hey, Jimbo! Hey, you! I heard you made level six. Congrats, I guess. Look, it, it. Oh my God, it's Jimmy Neutron and his dad. Look at his head. Sorry if you don't seem happy for you. If I don't seem happy for you, but it's just a bummer you'll never make Master Fighter. That's all. Well, fuck you! Yay! Your career is about to run into a brick wall. A brick wall called Sorehead. 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 Uh, uh, Do we get to see Sorehead? Sorehead's the last l uh, level master, a mysterious masked fighter who never, ever loses, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> uh, Jinzu, I'm gonna give you this one. Rawr. <laughs> you ready to meet my favorite character? Their voice. Their voice. That was fanboy. What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Sorehead. <laughs> it is my serf, <laughs> Sorehead. Ah. Who is talking about me? You made it past you made it past the chumps punk, but you're in big leagues now and your mama ain't here. <laughs> By the way, yeah, that is just the Mass Royale. <laughs> From Pokemon. Yeah. When I get you in Fossil Stadium, I rip your face off. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't mask, I hear an actual dinosaur person. <sighs> Oh shit. <laughs> I do so to teach you new ways and places to feel pain. He's pain. I'll steam you, steamroll you like bulldozer. Roller roller. Roller. <laughs> you may hit like a bulldozer, but I hit like that one thing that killed Squidward in that one episode. Roller roller. Wow! You call me Mr. Roller roller. He's totally gonna steam dozer you. Sourhead is so awesome. Woohoo! Oh, later, Jimbo! You should just retire now. We want to think any less of you when you uh, get to keep your bones. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. He's... Imagine somebody walks up to you, so it's like, oh, you might as well give up now. Uh, that way you can keep your bones. The rock is going to tear your arms off. Walking. Dino cakes. <laughs> Dino cakes. There's a favor I'd like to ask of you. I've been examining the markings on those three tacky idols, and it looks like there should be one more. Uh-huh. So while you're out looking for fossils, would you also keep an eye out for one more idol? Uh -huh. There's uh -huh. no way, right? <laughs> Since you found three of them already, I, f I figure if there's anyone that can count on, it's you. Don't search, search for the idol. Don't. No. I like Diggins. No. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Let me go see your sonar system. I'm going to s install a chip that, may that will make it detect idols. Oh, hell yeah. That's oddly convenient. Now that they, I found their unique genetic ma genetic <laughs> genetic makeup. There you go. Now your sonar will detect idols too. Of course, it'll still detect fossils as always. Now that you've level six, now that you're level six, you should be digging out at Mount Lava Flow. Digging out. <laughs> there are some good fossils out there, and with your last level of battle coming up, you'll need them. You can do it. If you yeah, you can make a master fighter, and you can also find the remaining idol. 
don't forget to do the things that I want you to do. These things, or else, or else. <laughs> ah, bitch, let me go. We're going to the volcano. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mount Lava Flow. Mount Lava Flow. We, it, we unlocked it the, during the last one, but just didn't go there because BB Bandits. We didn't... Yeah, we, we weren't told to go that way. All right. Now we're in the volcano. Is, it should the, be where a T-Rex is. Can this just be the... No, oh, it's just rock. Jinzo, can I get a rack from you? No. Share, dark Fossil Rock! We share your, a dark fossil. Share your rock with me. <laughs> Large boulder is blocking the path. Man. Can't walk, walk, walk around, around it. it. Nah, if we walk around it, we'll step in the <gasps> The only solution is Princess Zelda. Jinzu, you're gonna have to put away your phone for a little bit. Well, uh, you're you're Duna. I'm Duna? You're Duna. Oh yeah, I'm Duna. What voice did I give her? Zelda. Zelda. Zelda? I did not give her a Zelda voice. You, you didn't give her a Zelda, you gave her, her a Twilight oh, Princess oh, Zelda. Make fun of it, Zelda voice. I also don't... You guys are gaslighters, bro. <laughs> this is not... uh, you gave her a Danny DeVito voice? Is there something wrong? Yeah, Duna's back! Oh, hey, Duna! When did you get here? Shut up! <laughs> Goodness, that's a very large boulder, and it's blocking your way. I see. I can help with that. It's the country of Iraq. Stay back. Stand back. Whoops. Stand back. What do you think shindy. Duna's gonna do? She's gonna karate chop, pull out dinosaur... Oh, what God! The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted you to watch. I knew that you'd lose it at that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was the most, like, <laughs> holy shit. We gotta, like, clip that. <laughs> oh, it's 100% being a short. Oh, my God, it's so to, good. We have to clip her just like, I can help with that. Gun. Gun. <laughs> Gun. <laughs> You may not proceed. Goodbye. She's Call when you need my gat one more time. My gat. <laughs> you what gotta you, need do it. I, do I need the the uh, the gat or the gat? You need what? You need her. You need Duna. You need her gun. Take her gun. Get you get <laughs> Duna. You get her gun. <laughs> I can't believe that. Also, we're in a volcano. Yeah. We are not safe. Oh. Kill this person real quick. Uh, uh, I need you. You. Oh my god, look at that guy. I think I like his mini sprite better than his actual sprite. Yeah, the, the mini sprite one makes him look like he's made of rock and a demon. Yeah. Rock I'm, demon. I don't hate the uh, the big sprite, but still. Jinzu. Do you like it when demons are prevalent or not as prevalent in a story? Uh, I don't know. It depends. Why? A lot of these questions are very dependent on how the writer uses what you're asking me. Yes. Because it doesn't fucking matter what I want in the story or not. Because uh, I, I definitely didn't want giant humans eating smaller people in Attack on Titan. I don't want to fucking see that, but it was good. <laughs> it was good. They made that shit. They made that shit good. Like not like look good, but like they made the reason for why they were there, what's going on in the story, how how it was all built up. They made that good. But like, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jinsu, do you think that God stays in up in heaven, hiding away from his creations because he too fears them? Uh, <laughs> No. I, too, have seen Spy Kids. Yeah. <laughs> Still my favorite fucking stupid quote. What do you mean stupid quote? quote. It's, it's, it's okay. hilarious. Not stupid. Ridiculous. Ridiculously over the top. Yeah, imagine uh, going up to Steve Buscemi and just be... Er, Steve Buscemi. Yeah, and, and just saying, like, hey, could you go ahead and drop the hardest line that any kid will ever hear? And it will re resonate with them for the rest of their lives. Yeah, could you just do that, you know? That'd be convenient. That'd be it, nice. it just sounds like a cool idea, man, you know, you know, you know? Man, it's a good thing he didn't hit the guy at full health with his big attack that would have taken it out. <laughs> you got the rack. See, do I have any more rack? There's something suspicious in the air. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> rack. I'm gonna skip the stuff. Mouth lava flow. Don't skip. Another rock. Do you know? Man, there's another rock. What do I get? What do I need? Oh, do I need the gat or the gat? Hi, Duna. <laughs> Is there a problem? Oh, it's another rock. 
Well, but I ran out of ammo, so no luck for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the first hey, the furry trial is over. You must play. You must pay, ten payments of fifty nine ninety nine. Uh huh. 10 payments, which means <laughs> I'm actually going to charge you $600 for each payment, but I'm lying. Nah. Perhaps in the future. You should not travel in places with so many giant rocks. Racks. Are you serious, bitch? <laughs> 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 um, I'll destroy it for you again anyway. Whatever. I like how she, she looks very magical, but then just... She does it the This is the stupidest way. shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so funny. Now you can go. Now you may pass. Now you can. Oh. 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 There was an idol. No, not that one. That was a rat. The colored one that's interesting looking? That was a rat. That one. Was I don't it? see it. <laughs> Missed it. Whoa! Look, Juna, I finally got it! I've got my final idol, uh, idol the tacky idol. I will now worship it. Pagan! Oh, God. I think I found the one that actually shows me. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> Excellent. Well done. I will take the idol now. Bye. Bye. Huh? What do you mean? Give it to me. Now, <laughs> hand it over. Now, it weighs like. Ten oh shit! What? She's going fucking super saiyan. What? What? <laughs> Gotta face the camera first. What the fuck? Hi, Duna. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that Mayhem would like it. Oh, yeah. Duna is just nicknamed for Dinah. She's a dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. This is not good. The heat from the lava disrupted my holographic transformation. Never mind. She's an alien. What the fuck? You weren't fully wrong. I do know. Regrettably, I cannot allow humans that have seen my true form to escape. What? Do you want to transform into a dinosaur? We <laughs> better fight. You ready for the greatest thing? What's a dinosaur? Metal? Oh, there's... <gasps> she is the dinosaur. She's a raptor. Yeah. So she's water type, which means I gotta grab him up front. And for the other two, I just gotta move you. What do you mean she is a dinosaur? I couldn't you tell from the fucking tail? That made me why, why would she have else? a tail if she no, had a dinosaur? No, I'm saying she didn't just transform into that, like, She's like hybrid form. No, she went full zoan fruit. She ate the raptor, yeah, the raptor raptor fruit. <laughs> the... <laughs> I'm going first, which means that she's stronger. She she I ate the dog that. dog fruit model raptor. Model chicken. I hate that model system. Yeah, if it was the chicken chicken fruit model raptor, I would have stabbed myself. What's hilarious? That, that, that makes sense though. That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna swap out my guys so that I can keep the one that's strong against her safe. It looks it looks different characters have the same fruit. Yeah. Death ray! But that's the thing is that no two devil fruits look the same, so you don't have to worry about it. And I'm pretty sure there nobody's gonna freak out if you just call them Wolf fruit and dog fruit. <laughs> wolf fruit versus coyote fruit or uh, other species of dog fruit. Yes, I coyote. killed. I killed Duna. Oh, she's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> now all that's left is her friend here. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. Is that like or or horse fruit model giraffe? No, it's ox fruit. Or ox fruit. It's the model ox. Yeah, ox ox model giraffe. But just have it ox fruit and then just a giraffe fruit. Yeah. I think I like that a lot better too. I think that makes more sense. But like, imagine, obviously, imagine the cat, cat fruit model. You know, whatever cat. Model tiger. Model panther. Model cougar. Model house cat. <laughs> model jaguar. Well, I I actually think that there's going to be a cat, cat fruit model house cat. Probably. <laughs> because Oda just makes himself laugh. You won. Uh. This, <gasps> this is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. I like this. How form. can I lose? I like this form of Duna. And Jinzu, you voiced Duna. How can I, as a dinosaur, lose to a dinosaur wielder? Oh shit, an earthquake. <laughs> a earthquake and a volcano. We're gonna die. Oh! oh, no, she's just gonna die. Well, you can't shoot that. Wait! Why did she turn into a dinosaur and attack us when she could just shoot us? <laughs> Dude is trapped, helper. Destroy the rock within the time limit. 
Oh, you have to help her? Yeah. You should have upgraded, Duke. You should have upgraded. I wonder. <laughs> please tell me that if you hit the head, hit it enough times, Dude is just under there. Please, please she's tell not, me, Dude is. No. Just imagine, literally, just like a model, like a 3D model of doing it, like Family Guy death pose. <laughs> and then if you hit her with the hammer too many oh, times, I'm so tempted to put it in there. <laughs> wow. Good thing you're a dinosaur and you didn't Now get I know what crushed. to do with this. <laughs> clang, clang, clang. Do it. <laughs> it's your destiny to become a fossil. What? You saved me. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Scales. Uh, <laughs> scaly. After I tried to take the auto from you from for by force. Why does she have a belly button? I don't know. Why is her midriff exposed? Exposed? <sighs> because I'm happy. Because you are so confusing. I do not understand mammals at all. See there and there it is too. Maybe. <laughs> I think Duna likes getting smashed <laughs> by Rax. I do too. By Rax? Yeah. Ah. It's my kink. Maybe you should run. Maybe you should go to the ball crushing factory? Where they crush my balls at the ball crushing factory! Wacky! Oh, hey, Rosie. I still hate you. I'm so glad you're safe. It was quite the earthquake. Hey, that's a taggy idol. You found it. Hey, so Duna's a dinosaur. Wacky! We should get that idol back. What? <laughs> <laughs> and she had a gun? Earbuds as soon as possible. But no, <laughs> imagine you don't even mention the dinosaur. Dude, you wouldn't believe it. Duna has, has a, a gun. gun. She's American. <laughs> That's hot. Hot as shit. <laughs> All right. And with that revelation, thank you, everybody. So much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time. Duke, don't go too far ahead, or else you're going to start the... Like that. Yeah. What? You're Beth. Walkin, Rosie, we got big trouble. <laughs> The setup for next episode? Vivasaur Town has been taken over by the BB Bandits. <sighs> BB Boss is using the Richmond Building as his command center. Uh oh. What? Grandpa! Walking! What? Let's hurry to Grandpa's. Oh. Why? Why are you. Mess? Shut the fuck up. It's my uh, Let's hurry to Grandpa. Let's try to Grandpa's office. The BB Bandits boss is trying to capture all the fossils on Vivasaur Island. You gotta do something about him walking. I'll do that next time. Bye, everybody. Subscribe. Oh no, there's nothing we can do. Jinzu, let's repopulate. Jinzu, Bye. shoot him with your gun. To shoot the rack with your gun. I need the mouse. <laughs> <laughs>